Hello guys, once again welcome back to another Android application development tutorial. In the last video we already learned about how to place a search action view on the app bar. In this video here I am going to demonstrate how to filter a recycler view by placing a search view on the app bar. So here I already created an Android Studio project that contain a recycler view. So here in this project this recycler view display a list of country names. So now here I am going to run the project. Uh, now this project available on this virtual device so here the recycler view display a list of country names so now we are going to filter this recycler view by placing a search action view on the app bar so the first thing we need to add an icon for the search action view so now here i copy this icon go to android studio project here i'm going to place that icon inside the mip map folder I place it inside the HTPI folder and change the icon name. Change icon name into IC search. Okay. So now we can create the menu for the upper. So right click the resource folder and create a new Android resource file. Here I name it as toolbar menu and change the resource type into menu. Okay, so here a new folder is created called the menu and that folder contain our menu XML file called the toolbar menu XML. Okay, now we can add the item. So in this XML file, uh, we need an additional XML namespace. So I copy that statement, change the namespace name into app. Here also we need to modify something. This one change into uh, resource auto okay so now here i'm going to add the item so here we need only one item that is a search view so here our search view is a search action view so here i'm going to add the item specify title for the item here the title is search now specify id for the item Now we can specify the icon. Here the icon is IC search. So by using the newly created namespace, we can specify a parameter. Show us the action. Now we need one more flag here is called the collapse action view. Now we can specify the class name. Action view class. Now go to the uh, official documents of our bar. Uh, this is the class name for the search view so now the menu item is ready now we can add this menu item to the app bar for that go to main activity so here uh, you need to override one method called the on create options menu so from this method we can inflate that menu resource so get menu inflator and call the inflate method specify the menu resource file it is toolbar menu here the second parameter is an object of menu so from this method we need to return true because here we inflate our own menu so return true from this method so now we can check it whether this menu working fine or not Yes, that particular item that search action view is available on the toolbar so if you click that one it will expand the entire action bar sorry toolbar so now it is working fine now we need to filter this recycler view according to the input from the user okay so first thing uh, we have to add an appropriate method inside the recycler adapter so here I open the recycler adapter class so here this is our list so for performing the filter operation here i'm going to create a separate method public void update list now this method needs one parameter it is a list that contains some string values i name it as new list so here the source list name is names so here I'm going to reinitialize that variable. So 
so names equal to new array list now we can add the new data to this variable so names dot add all and pass the new list so here the data is changed so we can call the method notify data as a change for update the list on the recycler view okay so this is the only method need for performing the filter operation for the recycler view okay now go back to main activity so first thing we have to get the input from the user in order to get the input from the user here uh, inside main activity you need to implement some interface called uh, on query text listener so here you need to implement two methods you need to implement these two methods on query text submit and on query text to change actually here we know we need only one method called on query text to change anyway we implement these two methods so here i implement the two methods so now we can register the uh, search view uh, to this uh, listener uh, for that go to the on create options menu create some variables for menu item so menu dot find item or dot id dot here it is action search now create some variables for search view so menu menu item to get action view so here you need to uh, cast this one into a search view okay so now we can register the text change listener for the search view so uh, search view dot set on query text listener into this so when user uh, enter some input uh, we will get that input inside this method called the on query text change so from this method we can perform the filter operation so first here create some variables user input so new text dot to lowercase okay and now here i'm going to create a list that contains some string data i name it as new list is equal to new array list now here i start some for each for each loop so inside main activity our main array is names this is the main array so create a variable name and get each data from that array names so now we can check for a similarity so here check some condition if name dot to lower case dot contain contains the user input in that case we can add that particular country name to the new list so new list dot add and pass the name okay so the new list available on this array list called the new list now we can update the list so using the adapter object we can call the update list method and pass the array new list so from this method we have to return true okay so now the coding is finished now we can check it so i run the project again okay now the project available on this virtual device try to perform some search yeah the search is working now australia United Kingdom, United Arab Emirates. Yes. Okay, so this is how we filter a particular recycler view by placing a search action view on the app bar. I hope you understand these concepts. For getting more Android tutorial updates, please subscribe this channel now. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.